Hello, oh, guys. Good evening to everyone. Good evening, teacher. People connecting, thank you so much for being here, for being on time, and for your responsibility, because you're always on time. Thank you very much. So uh, probably your classmates will connect throughout the session. Probablemente los otros se conecten después, because we just have five people right now. So uh, let's see. Let me double check here the attendance. So we only have, let me check that. Vamos a ver la. Cynthia, Oscar, we have Marielos, we have Humberto, we have Benjamin, we have Carlos Giovanni. Okay. All right. So we still have, okay, we have right now uh, Daniel Bernal, I guess. All right. So welcome, guys, to another class. Something new to learn for today. I hope you have uh, you had a good day. I understand that probably some of you are tired. Entiendo que algunos puedan estar cansados. So guys, uh, um, another thing, si me escriben, eh, después de las ocho, probablemente algunos no les haya contestado porque a esa hora ya tengo clase, okay? So uh, I'm sorry for that. Perdón si de repente no les contesto antes de esa hora. Uh, so, uh, it's because of the classes, por la clase, so I will check those things later on. So, um, we're going to start, guys, for today's class. And first of all, as usual, we're going to have a practice about yesterday's class. Vamos a tener una práctica antes de empezar de la clase del día de ayer. So, uh, I'm going to present you, or I'm going to show you, Les voy a mostrar eh, en su pantalla para que vean lo que vamos a hacer. But, let me see. The problem is that sometimes, algunas veces los demás se van conectando and I have to repeat the instructions again. So, uh, I really don't know if the others are going to connect today. Realmente no sé si los demás se van a conectar, but if not, we're going to start. Vamos a empezar, and I'm going to show you what is going to be the practice. Mm -hmm. So this is the practice that we're going to have for today. Vamos a tener 10 minutos exactos, máximo, to do that, para hacerlo. Well, that's too much. Eh, en realidad es demasiado, but I know that probably can be a little bit difficult for you. Now, what are we going to do? Vamos a hacer estas oraciones que ustedes pueden, can you see it? Can you see the screen? Si pueden ver su pantalla. Yes. Good. So what I need to do or what I need you to grab in your notebooks, lo que necesito que escriban en su... You can't... No, that's okay, Humberto. No problem. You can't speak. That's that's okay. Now, I just need you to work on the, on the practice. So, eh, necesito que en su cuaderno escriban únicamente la segunda frase que está después del punto, ¿sí? La segunda frase después del punto, and obviously, utilizando lo que vimos el día de ayer, which are possessive pronouns, ¿sí? Possessive pronouns. Únicamente la voy a dejar ahí para que usted pueda ver el contexto de la primera, and so you can have an idea to what you're going to do, ¿ok? Are we clear? Good. So you have right now exactly, tienen exactamente nueve minutos from now. If you have any questions, si de repente tienen alguna pregunta de algo que no entiendan in the vocabulary or in the sentences, you can ask me, okay? If you finish after, si terminan antes del tiempo terminado, please let me know. Hágamelo saber. I see more people connected. Acabo de ver que se conectaron más personas. So, for the ones that just connected, para los que se acaban de conectar, we are having a practice. Estamos haciendo una práctica. 
So this is the practice that we have for today. Esta es la práctica para el día de ahora. So what I need you to do is que en su cuaderno escriban solamente la segunda, only the second sentence, la segunda oración después del punto, en todas. And of course, in the spaces in blank, en los espacios en blanco, I need you to write a possessive pronoun that is about the class of yesterday. And uh, I will I will have here the presentation. Uh, you will have the presentation there just for you to have uh, an idea para que tengan una idea de lo que se trata la primera y luego basándose en eso puedan hacer la segunda. So if you finish, si terminan antes, please you let me know, me lo hacen saber. And then when you finish, cuando terminen, please just send, envían una captura o una imagen to the WhatsApp group, okay? So I can check that you work. Thank you. If by any chance is there something that you do not understand, please ask me. Pregunte, so I'm going to be here to help you out, okay? If you don't know anything, guys, please, I, I just want you to be honest, please. Honesty, honestos. If you don't know what to do, don't do it. But don't go to Google, please. No vayan a Google or try to look for information or something like that. Because that's lying to yourself. Eso sería mentirse usted mismo. Si no lo sabe, no lo sabe. So, don't do it. But if you know... Or if you want to try, si quiere tratar de hacerlo, do it. Just honest. Uh, teacher, tengo una pregunta de la siete. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Sí. Eh, es el signo de interrogación. Ah, no, perdón, ya entendí. No, okay. perdón, gracias. <laughs>
We just have guys three minutes. Nos quedan tres minutos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, classmate. Uh, you just you just connect, Jessica. Hello, teacher. Did you just connect? Did you just connect? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So we were doing a practice. Uh oh, I saw. Uh, that, I mean, uh, we were doing a practice, but because you just connected, porque te acabas de conectar, el tiempo de la práctica se acabó, but that's fine. Está bien. So, um, you can check that later on. La puedes revisar probably later on the, on the, on the YouTube video. That's okay. I know that you probably know how to do that. So uh, it's okay. So we're just ready. We're, we're, we're going to have uh, three minutes. Well, five, 10 minutes in total. But now we just have one. Solo nos queda uno. But it's okay, Jessica. Se lo enviamos al chat, teacher. On the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, send it through WhatsApp. Yo acabo, acabo de entrar. Who are you? What's your name? Carlos. Carlos Rodriguez. Okay. No problem, Carlos. Probably you can check it later uh, on the YouTube and then you can send it later. I will give you the opportunity to do it till tomorrow. Okay. That's not a problem. Uh, okay, thanks. All right, so time is over, guys. Time's up. Se acabó el tiempo. So whatever, whatever you do or how many you do, las que puedo hacer, if you didn't complete them, that's okay. So the ones you did, las que hizo, send the picture through the WhatsApp, please. Send it now. You only have one minute. If you didn't finish, si no terminaron, that's okay. Don't worry about it. So remember, this is just a practice. I received some of you already. Let me just check. I received uh, Jonathan Castillo. I received Benjamin. I received Oscar. I already received Marielos, Humberto, Adelia, Joel. I received Julissa. Thanks so much. All right, so we are 15. Somos 15. But to be 15, para ser 15, solo he recibido la mitad right now. I didn't know your name was Alberto Joel, so um, I just know that you were Joel. And now I see that you're Joel Alberto or Alberto Joel. Jo Joel. Uh, good evening, Joel good Alberto. Evening. Okay, good. Do you like to be called Joel or do you like to be called Alberto? Uh, Joel. Okay, good. Now, um. I just see more people sending uh, more. Just give me, let me chill. Let me see one moment. Teacher. Mm -hmm. La quince la que no logré entender bien, no sé si. Okay. Let me, let me show you. Show the presentation once again. Number 15, it says, can you see it? Yes. Now we have a number 15. This is its bone. 
Mm -hmm. This is its bone. Now, a question. Do we have possessive pronoun for it? That's a question for you in general. Do we have possessive pronoun for it? Guys. The four sentences for teacher. I'm you? sorry? The four sentences. Huh? The no, the I mean, do we um, have possessive pronoun for the personal um, eat? Tenemos pronombres for the eat? Yo lo dejé en blanco porque perdón. Ayer explico que eso no tenía. Correct. We do not have. No tenemos possessive pronoun. Entonces, en este caso, si decimos this is its bone, this is. ¿Cuál piensan ustedes que podría ser acá si no tenemos possessive pronoun? Um, Oh, mm. so maybe me eat? I don't know. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Podemos poner el personal pronoun it. This is it. Or podemos volver a agregar el possessive adjective it. Si lo dejaron en blanco también, it's okay. Porque se fueron por eh, la explicación del día de ayer que no tenemos possessive pronoun de it. So, cualquiera de las tres, si usted puso it, it's, like this, or, lo dejo en blanco, any of the three are correct. Okay? Is that, is that clear, uh, Joel? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, we're going to go, guys, today with today's class. Let me share with you here. Oh, my God. Just give me a moment, guys, because my computer is kind of slow. So it doesn't want to work right now. It's slow. So slow. Well, uh, one question. Have you been practicing the tongue twister? Uh -huh. Have you been practicing tongue twister? Yes, I practice. A little bit, a little bit teacher. A little. Yes, I practice, no. but kind I learned. It's very it difficult it? for him. Is it, yeah. is it difficult for you? <laughs> it's been uh, Yes. Es cuando cuesta uno enrollar la lengua para pronunciarlo es lo que cuesta. I know, I know, I know. That's the that's the most complicated. I mean, they are they are not once una vez se los aprendan. That's gonna be easy. Incluso like then you're gonna be saying it. That's gonna be normal. But the first, el primer punto de eso es saber enrollar la lengua. That's what it what it's difficult sometimes. Why? Because in Spanish, we don't do those things. In español, no enrollamos la lengua. So for the letter R, para la letra R, decimos R. So we do not do the R that they have in English. But remember that you have until tomorrow. Tienen hasta el día de mañana para poder seguir practicando y poderlo enviar eh, a más tardar a las 8 de la noche para yo poder escucharlo y pues darles una nota en base a eso, ok? So, but it's ok, pero está bien, if you can do it, si, si se nota que usted le ha estado poniendo, poniendo empeño, eso también se nota, so, it's ok, just try to do your best. So, um, let me just share to you what is going to be today's class, and today we're going to have a little bit of Oh my God, just give me a moment, guys. This computer doesn't want to work with me today. What's going on? 
Oh, okay. Here we have. All right. So for today is our 12th class, guys. We just have four more classes. Tenemos solamente cuatro clases más. And the module is going to be over. Uh, Jessica and Marielos and Giselle. I don't know if Giselle is here. No está Giselle por acá? No, she's not. Right? No, I cannot see her. So Jessica and Marielos. Did you check? Revisaron si ya les dieron el acceso al certificado. Todavía no se los han dado. Eh, no, pero yo no he chequeado. Oh, you haven't checked. Yo What sí, about you, yo Jessica? Sí yo sí chequeé, pero aún no me han dado el acceso. That's weird. Eh, incluso sí. pregunté, pregunté con, con, con otro teacher, creo que son los que contestan en WhatsApp. No, eh, they are. Y me dijeron que. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y me dijeron de que más adelante posiblemente me den el otro, me den la opción para poder descargar ese primer certificado. No, 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 that's, that's not. So let me, uh, voy a, ahora le voy a enviar en ese caso entonces ya no administración, sino en ese caso nos vamos a ir directamente con jefatura para que les resuelvan el problema a ustedes dos, porque a este punto... Luego de terminada la plataforma, automáticamente tienen que recibir esa opción. Así que voy a enviar su información el día de ahora, más tardar después de clase a jefatura, para que el día de mañana probablemente ya les aparezca. ¿Ok? Ok, ok, teacher. Thank you. All right. Ok, so, teacher. Es que yo verifiqué en la plataforma que le comenté que había descargado, pero uh -huh. no me aparece. Entonces, no sé si tengo que eh, chequearla de... El enlace que usted me dijo ayer. Yes, trata de verificarlo desde el enlace para que lo veas desde la web. La web, es decir, de eh, inglés corporativo. So, in that, uh -huh. en, de esa forma te, te puede aparecer eh, más claro. Because algunas veces por la plataforma que tú descargaste, eh, por cuestiones hay veces de, de Google Drive y todo eso, eh, Google... Uh, Store y todas esas cosas hay veces no, no se actualizan tan rápido. But it's better, es mejor si te vas directamente a la web. Ok, ok. Ahorita verifico, gracias. Ok, good. So, para los demás, una vez más les recuerdo, chicos, si no les aparece la información o el certificado, cuando terminen los que están con plataforma, me lo hacen saber. Que no se pase de la próxima semana. Viernes es el, uni, el último día que yo podría ayudarles de la próxima semana. Luego de ahí para allá, eh, lastimosamente me quitan todos los accesos y ya no puedo verificar absolutamente nada de este grupo. Y en ese caso sí ya les tocaría a ustedes comunicarse directamente con inglés corporativo. So, uh, if you guys have any issue or algún problema lo hacen saber para eh, ayudarles lo más pronto posible. Teacher, justamente me acaba de caer la notificación. Sí, me ha, ya me apareció lo de ver el certificado. Ah, ok. Good. That's, that's excellent. Great. So, lo verificas okay. después. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's good. Yes. So, okay. congratulations. Posiblemente a Marielos también le aparezca. Yeah, probably. Sí, probablemente sí me lo hacen saber. So thank you very much, Jessica. Now we're going to start with today's class. And as you can see for today, we have the present continuous. Tenemos el presente continuo. So Marielos. Mm -hmm. eh, perdón, perdón. Sí, gracias, Jessica. Sí, ya me apareció ahorita, ahorita que chequeé. Ah, okay, that's Gracias. good. That's good. All right. So congratulations for completing now the platform. Now, let's see. We're going to start and for today. We have the present continuous and we're going to have a little bit of an explanation. And I'm going to need, in this case, Adelia. Adelia, go ahead and help me reading this part, please. Okay. We use the present continuous to talk about action happening now at the moment okay good it says we use the present continuous of course about actions con cosas que están pasando en el momento that's why we call it por eso le llamamos present continuous presente continuo una acción que usted está haciendo en el momento happening now at the moment 
All right, so we're gonna have an example. We're gonna see here, and we have Alice is riding her bike. Alicia está montando su bicicleta. So at the moment, in el momento, ella la está montando o conduciendo. Okay, so these ones, one characteristic, una característica, si usted no puede hablar del ayer, del pasado, o del futuro, no. It's an action that we have in the present. Una acción del presente en el momento. That's basically pretty much it. As you can see, another characteristic is that we use the verb to be. Y a los verbos le agregamos ing al final. So that's pretty much what we do. Now, let's see. We're going to have, vamos a entender cómo crear. Oscar, you have a question? Yeah. My question, my question is, uh, eso sería similar como en el español que son los gerundios? Mm, similar, similar, but not exactly. Similar, pero sí, no. Sí, no terminan en, a, en ando, endo. Yes, that, yes. I mean, for example, if I say here, eh, tenemos el ejemplo acá, Mark and his brother. Eh, Marcos y su hermano están jugando fútbol. Sí, el en este caso va a terminar en ando y yendo. You're correct. Pero no es gerundio, es presente continuo. El gerundio es en, en gramática otra cosa. But it's similar, es similar. Ok. Now, uh, as you can see here, we have a formula. Tenemos una fórmula para tu form. Positive sentences, oraciones positivas. ¿Cuál es la fórmula? Sujeto, subject, plus verb to be, in present, plus the main verb, el verbo principal, agregándole ing al verbo principal. Que es en this case, en este caso, el verbo to be va a ser simplemente un auxiliar. An auxiliary, un auxiliar. That, que lo vamos a utilizar y lo vamos a conjugar, evidentemente, dependiendo de la persona o el pronombre que utilicemos. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo to be del personal pronoun she? Is, she is. Correct. What is the... Uh, the form of the verb to be if we use the personal pronoun we. We are. 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 We are. Correct. So, based on that or depending on that, we will conjugate it and the main verb is going to be with ing. That's for the positive sentences. What happened? with the negative sentences. ¿Qué pasa con las negativas? We have something pretty similar. Tenemos algo similar. Now, uh, what we're going to do, lo que vamos a hacer es que le agregamos, we add the word not. Agregamos la palabra not después del verbo to be. So, aquí tenemos las contracciones. For example, yo puedo decir, I am... Reading, estoy leyendo. Or, yo lo puedo hacer contracted, contractado, yo puedo decir, I'm, I'm reading. Yo puedo decir, you are cooking, or, yo puedo decir, you're cooking. He is dancing, or he's dancing. She is singing, she's singing. I can say it is reading or it's reading. We are cooking or we're cooking. You are dancing or you're dancing or they are singing or they're singing. Okay? Remember those are the contractions. Esas son las contracciones in the negative, contracted or not contracted. Now, Jessica. ¿Podrías hacer toda esta información here? Contracted and not contracted, please. Contracted. I believe, for example, I am 
I am not reading. No, no, no. This one, the affirmative. Oh, sorry, sorry. He is cooking. Mm -hmm. And it is singing singing. Mm -hmm. And they are they are for example uh, play, playing. Playing, yes, we can say that. Now let's see Oscar. Podrías decir las oraciones now, pero utilizando contractions. Okay. I'm ready. You're cooking. No, ready. Uh, ready. What you say? Lo que dijiste ayer. Estoy listo, but not reading. Reading. Oh, okay, okay. Reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Voy a comenzar. Mm -hmm. I am reading. Mm -hmm. You are no. cooking. Contraction. Contractado. You're, you're, mm -hmm. you're cooking. Cooking. He's cooking. Mm -hmm. He's dancing. She's singing. Mm -hmm. uh, we are reading. Mm -hmm. It's cooking. Uh, you're dancing. They are mm -hmm. singing. Okay, good. Now, for the negatives, in the negative part, in la parte de las negativas, we can have also contractions. For example, we can say, I am not reading, or I can say, I'm not reading. You can say, you are not cooking, or you can say, you aren't cooking. You can say, he is not dancing, or he isn't dancing it is not singing or it isn't singing we are not cooking or we aren't cooking you are not dancing or you aren't dancing they are not singing or they aren't singing now let's see let me listen to you julissa i need you to help me without contraction sin contracciones Go ahead. I I cannot listen to you, Julissa. We cannot listen. No te escuchamos. It's like uh, we listen to like echo, something like that. No, we cannot. Probably your microphone is not working. Probablemente tu micrófono no esté funcionando. That's okay, Julissa. Probably you can participate later on. <clears throat> okay, uh, you know what? Joel, Joel, help me then. No, no contracted. Yes, not contracted. Yes. Negative. Uh, I I am not reading. Uh, you are you are not cooking. Okay. He's he is not dancing. Okay. She is not dancing. He, he is not dancing. Okay. We are we we are not cooking. Cooking. You are you are cooking. Mm -hmm. You are not dancing the, okay. they are no singing okay now let's see uh axel ruiz hello hello teacher now can you help me with with the contractions now i not mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean all all of them. Todas las contracciones of Axel. Okay. Uh, you are not aren't? No, only con solo contracciones. Axel? Uh, aren't? Mm -hmm. And isn't y el verbo. Ah, okay. Aren't reading. Mm -hmm. 
aren't cooking. No, no, no. You, you got confused. We go, we go this way. Vamos de esta forma. I, contraction verb. You, contraction verb. He, contraction verb. And so on. Ah, okay. Eh, por ejemplo, sería, I, I'm not reading. Mm -hmm. I'm not cooking. No, just one verb. Solo un verbo. Luego te cambias. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, va, okay. You are, you aren't reading. Mm -hmm. He, he's, he isn't dancing. Mm -hmm. And you aren't cooking. Okay. That, well, okay, probably, probablemente, eh, bueno, vi que quizás te acababas de conectar, so probably you didn't know what we were doing. Let's see. Uh, then, help me, Marielos. Only contractions, please. Only contractions. Okay. And um, not mm -hmm. ready. Reading. You are cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, he isn't dancing. Mm -hmm. He isn't uh, singing. Okay. He isn't ready. Reading. We reading. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. We aren't cooking. Okay. You aren't dancing. dancing. They aren't mm -hmm. singing. Good. Now I think that that's pretty clear. That's pretty clear how to make affirmatives and negatives, contractions and not contractions. So we're going to move on here and we're going to learn rules. Vamos a aprender reglas de cómo formar los verbos con ing. So pay attention to this. Here, the basic rule, la regla básica dice that to the majority of the verbs, que a la mayoría de verbos se le agrega ing when we want to make the continuous form, cuando queremos hacer la forma continua. For example, work, working, play, playing, assist, assistant, see, seen, be, being. With this one, guys, con este hay una, eh, una excepción cuando se refiere a traducción. ¿Por qué? Si yo digo este, ¿qué significa este verbo? What does it mean? Ver. Ver. Cuando yo le agrego ing, no significa viendo, sino que cuando yo le agrego ing, su significado cambia y su significado es como eh, eh, saliendo con alguien sentido de citas. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir yo estoy saliendo, es decir, eh, teniendo citas con X persona. Por ejemplo, let me write that down. Vamos a elegir, vamos a escribir un ejemplo right here. In some, some, someone. Si yo digo esto, cualquier persona que no sabe esta regla al traducir, traduciría, yo estoy viendo alguien. Aquí me falta la letra. No falta una E, sí. E. A letter E there. All right. Someone. So I'm seeing someone. Estoy viendo a alguien. Y eh, la persona pensaría que that is correct. But en este sentido no significa ver a alguien, sino estar saliendo con alguien. So when I say I'm seeing someone, tú estás diciendo que tú estás saliendo con alguien. So that's the only exception. Este verbo es excepción only, únicamente en... Present continuous, es decir, ing. Then, in any other, in, otro, in otra situación, el verbo ver es el verbo ver. It will not, that will not change, okay? So, and we have the verb be, 
been, ok? Now, that's the basic rule. Esta es la regla básica de talks que dice a la mayoría de verbos se le agrega ing para formar el contenido. Now, vamos a otra regla. Tengo una pregunta. Yes. Vaya, pero por ejemplo, en los verbos dry, mm -hmm. eh, ya no se escribe e, sino que se pasa a ing, driving. Correct. Eh, right. Uh -huh. Writing. Yeah, correct. We're going to see that rule. Ya vamos a llegar a esa regla también para que podamos entender un poquito. Now, tenemos estos chicos y le llamamos excepciones porque la regla dice, the rule says, si el verbo cumple con el patrón consonante, vocal, consonante, yo voy a duplicar la última consonante y le voy a agregar ing. For example, stop, stopping, run, running, begin, beginning. ¿Sí? Porque la regla se cumple. Consonante, vocal, consonante, consonante, vocal, consonante, consonante, vocal, consonante. So, that's what we need to remember. But this, tenemos una excepción dentro de la excepción. ¿Cuál es esa? El verbo abrir. Open. Porque si bien me cumple con la regla, eh, consonante, consonant, vowel, consonant, cualquiera diría, teacher, entonces solo le agregamos la N más ING. That will be correct. I mean, es lo que acabamos de ver, right? But no, in this one, es una excepción porque el stress, cuando decimos open, el stress lo hacemos en la primera letra O. Entonces decimos open, open. So, hacemos el stress más fuerte en la primera O. Por lo tanto, no podemos seguir esta misma, uh, esta misma regla. So, esta es la única excepción que tenemos acá. ¿Ok? Is it clear this part? Creo que esta parte es bien, bien fácil de entender. So let's see. Let's listen to you. Vamos a escuchar a Carlos Rodríguez. You read this. Lees el verbo base y luego ING. Ok, just the first one or all? All of them. Ok. Is stop stopping. Uh, Carlos, what happened with las palabras que empiezan con S? Okay, okay. Stop. Excellent. Stopping. There you go. Mm -hmm. Run. Running. Good. Begin. Beginning. 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 Carlos Giovanni. Carlos. Si sí me repite, teacher, please. No, oh, no, just, just repeat. Solo repite uh, here. Uh, stop. Mm. Stopping. ¿Qué pasa con los verbos que inician con S, Carlos? No decimos la letra E, no decimos stop. Decimos stop. Stop. Correct. Es, es, stopping. Ok, hay que trabajar en esa E, que es porque así le gusta. But go ahead. Run. 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 Mm -hmm. Running. Running, okay. Running. This one? Big. Begin. 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 Beginning. Beginning. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, let's move on to another. 
nos movemos a otra regla en this is this row. Esta regla, chicos, dice que si el verbo termina if the verb ends in IE, si termina en IE, yo cambio esa IE por una Y for a letter Y y luego le agrego ING. For example, el verbo mentir. Espero que aquí no hayan mentiroso, vea, I hope so. So we have lie, lying, die, el verbo morir, dying. So that's the rule. Si el verbo termina en letter IE, I change the letter IE to a letter Y and I add ING y agrego ING. All right, so uh, Joel, read the, these two, please. Okay. Lie. Mm -hmm. Lying. Good. Die. 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 Mm -hmm. Dying. Dying. Correct. Thank you. Dying. We have another one. Aquí tenemos lo que Marielos estaba diciendo hace ratito. So if the verb, si el verbo termina in a letter E, si termina en una letra E, borramos la letra E, we, uh, we erase, borramos la letra E o la omitimos y agregamos ING. Todos los verbos que terminan en letra E, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Le borramos, we omit the letter E and we add ING at the end. Come, coming. Mistake, mistaking. All right, so that's pretty much what we have. Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? We are... Are we understanding? Si estamos entendiendo. Yes, but there are many, there are many uh, rules. rules. There are many rules. No, I mean, no, not really. Not really. They're, they are easy. Son, estas reglas es como... Eh, luego se vuelven bien monótonas. Al final las vas a hacer como cuando ya te las aprendas, van a salir de tu mente automáticamente, automatically. So, right now probably looks difficult. Probablemente se vea como un montón ahorita, but it's not. So don't worry, don't worry about it. Now we're going to move on. And we have here, tenemos expresiones de tiempo que podemos utilizar en present continuous. Time expressions. For example, if I say now, si digo now, ¿qué entendemos? What do we understand? Ahora. 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 It was at the moment. En este momento. Okay. If we say at the present. Presente. En el presente. En el presente. If we say today. Hoy. Okay. If we say, um, what days? Hoy en día. Hoy en día, excellent. If we say this week? Esta semana. semana. Okay, now, those are some time expressions that we can use when we talk about the present continuous. So, for example, we have a question, uh, I mean, uh, an example here that it says, they are throwing snowballs now. Entendemos for this sentence? Ellos están tirando snowballs. Ellos están tirando bolas ahora. Bolas de nieve, creo, ahora. Excellent. Se está tirando throw, el verbo lanzar o tirar, throw, con Z. They are throwing snowballs now. Thank you. Now, we're going to move on. Nos vamos a mover to the next part. Y aquí tenemos ya la práctica. So, chicos, go ahead and take a screenshot. Tómenle una captura de pantalla que nos vamos a ir a practicar el... Hacer verbos o agregarle ING. So you let me know when you're done. Me lo hacen saber cuando ya estén listos. So I can move to the next one. Ready. Good. Let me see. Let me just check here. And this conversation, 
esta conversación because of the time we're not going to do it. La vamos a dejar para otro día. So here we have, necesito que estas oraciones me las hagan en presente continuous, present continuous. So please, go ahead and take a screenshot. The teacher, uh, 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 es, es hacerlo ahorita o si no lo podemos terminar, se lo podemos mandar mañana. Uh, no, in this case, we will have to do it right now because it is not too much. Porque no es... Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to eh, do it right now. Mandamos, uh, eh, we send us, uh, we send us uh, the, the, the WhatsApp group or for the chat there. No, you, you can send it through WhatsApp if you finish it today. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I Thank guess you. we have, uh, we already have the screenshots. So we're going to go directly to the breakout rooms. Let's see in who we have. So please go ahead, guys. Join your rooms. Uh, creo que me quedé fuera, teacher. Really? Let me see. Let me just check where you were. You were with... Okay, you were in this group, so I'm going to... Vamos a mover. Um... Let's see. All right, so I'm going to move you to... Te voy a cambiar with Xiomara. Xiomara is going to move to three. And you are okay. going to move to two. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Teacher, guess what happened? Teacher, I'm alone in, in the group. Oh, because Katie. Okay, I will move you to this one. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Yeah.
We are just waiting for the for the others to come back to the main session. Yes, I see that some others are still on the board. All right, so now the majority is coming back. So did you finish the exercises, guys? Cool. You didn't? En la oración nos quedamos nosotros, teacher. In the sentences. Okay, so number two. Okay, good. Yeah. All how right, that's okay. Say, how do you say casi? Almost. Oh, almost, almost. Thank you. Almost. Okay, so what about the others? Did you guys finish the exercises or you didn't? Um, yes, teacher, I finished. You finished, okay. The group number one, where was Axel, Humberto, and Oscar? Iban por el numero dos, okay? That's what Axel said. Then Adelia... Jessica and Marielos? Yes, finish. Finished. What about Carlos Giovanni, Jonathan Alberto, Natalie, and Sara? You finished? We didn't finish, teacher. You didn't. Okay. Carlos Rodriguez, Cindy, and Julissa. How about you? No, no. You didn't. Okay, well, uh, solo hasta donde llegaron, chicos, hasta ahí está bien, it's okay. Eh, so, este fin de semana se los voy a dejar así como libre. So, no homework, so nothing. So, you can relax and, uh, you know, on, the only thing that we have for tomorrow is the tongue twister. Do not forget it. Yeah, Cindy, you have a question? Para mañana sería el trabajo lengua, ¿verdad? Correct. For tomorrow. Tienen hasta las 8 de la noche para poderlo enviar. And that's it. Eso sería todo. Quedan libre hasta Monday. Okay? So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class and for all participating. I hope you have a nice weekend and wish you the best for this week. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night